Okay, this is April 2nd, 2008, and uh, continuation of the Bedini Motor Project. Um, I got the thing using a solar panel. It's supposed to be 135 milliamps. Um, helping to drive the thing, and it uh, when the sun comes out, it, it does help it. But there's your your battery voltage right there and these only are about 10 volts when they're charged up they're nickel metal hydride and as the sun comes out that goes up and then of course it goes down when the sun goes down but uh, what it's doing is helping this uh, drive battery run the system and charge these two batteries here now what else is going on here is this I re-rigged this so that on the generator part of this, it's got a coil and then a permanent magnet motor in here in series that supply voltage down here. Now, it's not enough unless you use a capacitor to feed back into the charging battery, the, the drive battery. So what I did was I put a little reed switch right here that opens and closes in such a way that I can charge up the capacitor coming off of that and feed back into the drive battery a little bit of voltage at a couple of points in the drive battery that are about two, two and a half volts. And that's what's going on here. Now if I move the reed switch in and out, this voltage goes in and out. You can see it go up and down. And what I want that is about two, two and a half volts to supply a trickle charge back into the drive battery to help out the situation with the Bedini motor. But anyway, this is where I'm at as of uh, today. Getting a feedback from the system. Of course, we've got a little mechanical work going on there with the air coming off of the the lid motor. I call this a Bedini lid motor because it was a lid with uh, neomagnets inside the lid to form the rotor and of course your Bedini coil is there uh, running that thing. Uh, this isn't being run by anything but the coil from the Bedini motor. And all I'm doing here is tapping energy coming off of that and that little coil there feeding back through a capacitor back into the drive battery. Now everything else, the charging part of this is still going on with the collapsing coil right there. It's going back into the back EMF or radiant energy is going back into these charging batteries. And then of course the solar panel, when the sun hits it, gives me a little bit of kickback into the system too. But uh, this was neat to see this in how I can take the reed switch and use the reed switch to pulse energy back into the charging battery and this is one thing they say you, you're not supposed to do is have a feedback loop into the primary battery the drive battery but using this auxiliary generator with a coil generator run through a bridge rectifier that's what that is there and then coming into a capacitor it stores up the energy and then pulsing it back with a reed switch which is being triggered by the magnets in the rotor it can get energy going back into that primary drive battery but anyway that's that's what's going on here and like I say the solar panel uh, when it's bright uh, sunshine gives me uh, 0.05 amps I guess that's 50 milliamps because of the light coming through the glass there is not very strong but this is inside the house and uh, that's helping out the system too anyway that's the project as of today and this is uh, April 2nd 2008 the Bedini project